here to race number 14 of Season 9 of the NC Race Snickers Cup Series. Division 1 racing coming to you here from a brand new track. This is a track that we put on the schedule here this season. If we end up having a great season with it, it may come back in the uh, Season 10. But we're going to find out just exactly how good this race is going to be. We are at Open Roads. Now, if you're familiar with Thornton, well, think that same kind of line for this type of track. This is an over 12 mile street racing turned into NASCAR racing, if you will, just like Thornton. And these drivers are going to have two laps to try and make moves and make their way to the front to win this race. There are going to be no caution flags, so there'll be no being able to bunch back up. You got to bring what you can bring and finish where you can finish here in this race. Two laps, not a whole lot of time, it would seem, but with a 12 mile racetrack, oh yeah, there's a lot of time to get yourself a victory in this race. Starting on the front row is going to be Joshua Balkowitz alongside of Gene Sanford, both drivers still looking for their first win here of season nine and this is definitely now where it comes to the point of getting wins to get yourself into the chase for the championship because there's only seven more races and then the chase begins but let's go down and get the command to fire up the engines here for division number one Drivers, start your engines! And I'm hoping that I'm not coming through too loud or too soft on my microphone. Uh, I'm going to be definitely looking back at this race to make sure that my microphone's coming through correctly because this is not the usual microphone that I use. My other one died. So, anyway, let's uh, be able to let you at least hear some engines. There we go. So Balkowitz, Sanfer, and then Chris Louvier. Now three drivers come into the second half of the regular season worry-free. They're already in the chase. That's Danny Wells with three wins, Tristan Wilhoy, and Robert Piet with two wins apiece. Everybody else, though, they're vying for victory lane. Drivers with one win, they're looking for a second win to lock themselves into the chase. And drivers that don't have a win yet this season, they are desperate to get themselves a victory to be able to make the chase for the championship. For those drivers that all have one win, it will come down to who's highest in the points to fill in those final few spots in this 16-driver chase. But I can't wait to see what they're going to do here at Open Roads. It was some pretty exciting testing that went on here when they were uh, kind of searching and feeling this track out. But that's the only uh, experience, only introduction they've really had to this racetrack. So we're going to see what's going to happen here. As I said, there will be no caution flags, so the likelihood of us going back looking at replays is not too good, but I'll try and cycle through this field as best as possible so you can know, uh, you know, who's still in contention, who ended up getting involved in the wreck, all that. And we're about to turn them loose. Pace car is getting ready to turn them loose for two laps of racing here at Open Roads. It makes its debut in the NSRA Snickers Cup Series. What can we expect? I say expect the unexpected. Green flag is out here at Open Roads. We're underway. It's a long highway front straightaway for these drivers to try and get some drafting to move themselves up here. And we'll see which line prevails heading into the first corner, which is going to be quite a ways down here. It's a hard right-hander. Looks like Gene Sanford's got Harrison Langford working with her right at the moment. She edges out to an advantage at the current moment, but that outside line could end up coming back here with the Dodgers of Balkowicz and Louvier. Look at Ty Dent trying to go to the inside line there with Brandon Gonzalez. They're getting ready to spread three, maybe four wide into this turn, which it can't really hold them that well. We're going to see what's going to happen here. My heart's in my throat. I'll bet it is for these drivers, too, because they don't know what to expect when we get down to this first corner. Here we go. Oh, cameraman, better be ready for this one, because this is going to be crazy. Oh, boy. Oh, there they go. Brady Gonzalez, Daniel Day, one car up in the air. That's James McLeod flipping wildly. Poteet's in it. Kyle Collins in it. Ben Braley's got damage. McLeod's still, he's still going, what? McLeod is still driving that thing. Are you serious? Look at that, the 51's still going. He flipped in the air for heaven's sakes. Who else is involved here for heaven's sakes? I gotta find out. Oh, Anthony McCrory, badly, badly damaged. I think that engine has died. He's trying to get the thing refired, but I don't think he's going to be able to. Battle off for the lead. Whoa, John Cittadino forcing the issue there with Harrison Langford. Oh, and this is a cliff part here. These drivers got to be careful on this cliff. Oh, and now they slide down this portion. They got airborne. Did any oh, Caleb Farrell in trouble. He's facing the wrong way, holding up Luis Hernandez, and now holding up uh, Trevor Gelfi. Did anyone fall off the cliff? Looks like everybody's okay. I don't think anybody fell off the cliff. 
There's James McLeod, his teammate Dylan Poteet. They're damaged, and there's Anthony McCurry. Oh, trouble. Drivers on pit road. Matthew Dalio, Chris Washer, Alan Cavanaro, and William Duncan. William Duncan, fifth in the point standings as far as uh, with the chase. He's fifth out of the drivers. If the, ch if the race were to, or if the chase were to begin now, he would right now be the fifth driver in. That's not good for him as he was trying to pick up his second win. Dodgers at the front, though. The 43 of Langford, the 28 of Balkowitz, the 98 of Louvier. Then Gene Sanford in fourth. Ty Denton in fifth. Cittadino now has slipped back to sixth as we're going to look back through here. Looking further back, seeing who else is still running, who may be in trouble. Oh, Charles Jackson got some front-end damage. Now a lot of front-end damage on the Skittles Toyota. Ian Siegel off the pace. There's Dylan Poteet, and there's Jason McLeod. I don't know how that car is still running. McCrary's going to be a problem if these driver, if he doesn't get back around before the leaders get to pit road. Oh, something happened to Cittadino. He was running sixth. And I think someone else got involved with them, possibly Luigi Victorino. They're on pit road. Balkowitz continues to lead. Second place is going to be Langford. Third place is Chris Louvier, then Samfer. And Austin Talley now has cracked the top five. Where did Ty Dent go? Where's the 999? Oh, trouble, Kyle Miller! Spun around and is caught in the chain link fence. Is the 999 on pit road? He's not. Where is he? There's McCurry, McLeod, Poteet, Steven Gonzalez is slow. Ian Siegel is slow. Oh, Andreas Allen is stalling it. Not able to get going. And there's Dent. It's all going to come down to who's going to survive this race, really. Oh, Kyle Miller's on pit road now after he had to teleport. After he got caught in that chain link fence. And now it's all Balkowitz. Battle is on for second between Louvier and Lankford. These two got to work together, though, if they're going to catch up to that 28 and battle him for this win. Ooh, give room, guys, through this corner. Lankford way up the racetrack. Going to heat that spot to the Dogecoin Dodge. Oh, and Balkowitz took that turn a little wide. Now here comes Chris Louvier trying to run him down. Gene Sanford trying to close in on this battle as well. It could be four cars to fight it out here for the win. Oh, Louvier! Wow! Rough it up Joshua Balkowitz and move him to the point. Oh, Balkowitz is up there into that steel guardrail. And that's going to lose him the second position now to Lankford. Gene Sanford trying to close in. As it's white flag, one to go. Still a long ways, though, for this race is over. Louvier out in front. Lankford trying to run him down. Balkowitz trying to regroup. Gene Sanford there as well. And it's a long ways back till you get to fifth. Oh, Brandon Gonzalez actually took the fifth position away from Austin Talley. Trevor Gelfi is now up into seventh. Eighth, Nick Alton. Corey Williams, ninth. And Ralph Mason making his return to Snickers Cup. Look at this guy up there in the top 10. The road course ace. Good battle back here again. This is for the fifth position. Gonzalez took it from Tally. Tally going to take it right back though. Oh, and look at this battle for the lead. Bolkowitz back to the front. Lankford going to take second. Louvier now slips back to third. I think the odds of a dodge going to victory lane are good, but there's still some treacherous parts of this racetrack still to go, including... The portion where they could fall off the hill into the lake, as well as that huge dip down where a lot of drivers have gone airborne on the first lap. Here we are, right at the portion where the track falls off. Hang on to her, guys. Looks like everybody got through there okay. Now they're coming to that dip down. How's Balkowitz going to be able to handle it? You got to deaccelerate here, buddy. Up the hill, about to go down the hill. Better slow it up, Josh. Lakeford there, Louvier there, ready to pounce if trouble happens. Here we go. Oh, he's airborne. Save it. Into the guardrail. Hangs on to it, though, as they make their way uphill. Lakeford and Louvier were able to hang on as well. Sanford does the same. And look at this five-way battle for fifth. Alton now to fifth. Oh, he's safe. Oh, maybe not. Oh, he did. Okay. Look out. Oh. Ralph Mason, Austin Talley got through it a lot better. And now they're going to land that really well. Nicely done by both of them. But now here comes Gonzalez back to the inside. Corey Williams back to the inside. 
Meanwhile, Balkowitz continues to have a rear view mirror full of Harrison Langford, who went all last season without a victory in Snickers Cup. Oh, he's looking. He's looking. He should look to his right, too. There's a pretty lake over there that he could fall into. Oh, man, this is going to get good before it gets over. Balkowitz, Lankford, Louvier, which of these guys is going to win? Which one of them wants it more? Into this corner, advantage would go to Lankford to take second away. He does. Louvier now back to third. It's still three dodges up in front over the train tracks. Oh, boy, time's starting to run out now, though. Lankford's got to start making some moves here, putting some pressure on that Taco Bell Dodge. It's Balkowitz, Langford, Louvier, Nick Alton. Man, what a comeback he's had. He's up to fourth now. Gonzalez to fifth. Sixth now, Ralph Mason. Seventh, Corey Williams. Eighth, Austin Talley. Ninth, Winston Rivers. And now a battle for tenth. You got Tanner Sullivan, Tim Walsh, and Noah Hart here. Where did Gene Sanford go? Oh, wow. Luis Hernandez off the pace. Where'd the 11? Oh, the 11's on pit road. Something must have happened to Gene. Andreas Allen's on pit road. Trevor Gelfi, Poteet. There's McCurry. He finally made it back to pit road. And Daniel Voiles is on pit road. A lot of drivers running into trouble here at open roads. These three have survived so far, though. And now it's coming down to crunch time. Harrison Langford needs a buddy. And that buddy could be Chris Louvier. As he's going to try and chase down Joshua Balkowa hit. Balkowitz for this win. Louvier steps out. Langford steps out. He's got drafting help. He's got drafting, buddy. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Langford's going to try and do it. Langford's got help from Louvier. Balkowitz left all by his lonesome. Langford's going to get the advantage and go to the point. That was the halfway point. The start finish line's on the other side of that guardrail there. We got half this racetrack still to go. Langford to the point. Here comes Louvier looking for the top spot. Oh, it's going to try and push him up here. Going to try and push him up the track. Take away his racing line. Trying to block him is Harrison Langford. Here comes Louvier to the inside. Louvier to the point. That could be all she wrote. They're coming down the final stretch now. Louvier to the front. Balkowitz to second. Langford seems to have just faded from view as he really messed up that corner. Oh, Louvier's in the guardrail. Louvier in the steel guardrail. Can Balkowitz close the gap? He's in the guardrail too. So was Langford. Down the final stretch. No one in sight. Chris Louvier in the 98 is going to come down and he's going to capture the win here for Team Thunder. Winning at Open Roads. Balkowitz hangs on for second. Lankford to third. Who's fourth? There they are. Hang on. Go back, guys. I think I think Brandon Gonzalez, he got fourth. And fifth was a drag race between Corey Williams and Ralph Mason. I believe Williams got it. He did. Mason will get sixth. Seventh, Alton. Eighth will be Tally. Winston Rivers will hang on for ninth. And Tim Walsh finishes in the tenth position. That was insane. Man, what a race there at the end. Three dodges and Louvier picks up the win in the Dogecoin number 98. We'll be right back as soon as everybody else crosses the line to give you your official full results from Division 1 here at Open Roads. Race standings are now official. Chris Louvier picks up the second win of the season for Team Thunder. It's going to be big for him, too, because he's running really well in the point standings. And so this win's going to put him in a good spot to maybe take one of those spots for one-time winners this season in the chase for the championship. So big win for him. Balkowitz gets second, third for Lankford. We gave you all the way down to the top ten. How about Ralph Mason? Coming back here to the Snickers Cup, they put him at a road course for his first start back here in Season 9, and he finishes a solid sixth place. That's a great run for him. As you take a look all the way down through the rest of your finishing results, and then all these drivers encountered some kind of problems at one point or another. Looking all the way down here, Jace McLeod hit that flip over. Was able to still keep going, but he did finish out of the race in 29th and all the way down to Charles Jackson finishing in the 42nd position. Man, what a race. I can't wait to see what's going to happen here in the second and third divisions. They're coming your way here. Don't go away. Still more to come here from Open Roads.
And here we are for Division 2. Let's go down and get the command. Fire the engines. Drivers, start your engines. Kyle Corbett starts on the pole position alongside of Lisa Gonzalez, who has been so consistent, but she just hasn't yet been able to pick up that win. Maybe track position on her side here today. Liam Irving going to roll off from third. And Carter Fargo, who has a victory at a road course. That was at Infineon earlier on this season. He'll roll off from the fourth position. And this is the uh, the group where the uh, multiple-time winners are. Danny Wells, three-time winner of the season. Already locked into the chase. There he is. And then also the 195 of Robert Piet. Right behind him, actually, on the opposite side. Kitty corner to Danny Wells. The only other repeat winner we have this season is Tristan Wilhoyt. We'll see him in Division 3. Anyway, though, we saw a first-time winner just moments ago in Chris Louvier. Who's going to be able to tame open roads here in Division 2? I can't wait. I cannot wait to find out. That first race was unbelievable, just as exciting at Thornton, if not more so, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen here. As a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, I think Thornton's our next track on our schedule too, so we're not only taking them out of the frying pan, but we're putting them into the fire. We're taking them here to open roads, and then next week they go to Thornton. So it's like, okay guys, you enjoyed this race? Too bad! It's coming back with more next week. Fans are going to love that though, I'm sure. Here we go though, green flags out, and we're ready to turn him loose for two laps of racing here in Division 2. Corbett got a good jump, but Lisa Gonzalez has Carter Fargo right up behind her back bumper, going to help push her to the front, and they're already three wide back here. We know what happened the last time they went three wide into the first corner, death happened. Jacob Lawler. He's going to go three wide here with Jonathan Zorlin. That's Brad Mojo and Zach Rostowski on the outside. They look like they're splitting three wide up ahead, so I think we're okay at least for there. They're single file right now between Lisa Gonzalez, Carter Fargo, and Momo Akari. That's smart. That's really smart early on. But oh boy, here we go. Look out. They're going to wreck. I'm calling it. Oh, who's going to be the first to go? Who's going to be the first to die? No way. No way. Did they make it? Oh, they made it! Oh, they all made it! No way! How? How did they all make it? Oh, look out. Oh, boy. Oh, someone I think just fell off the cliff. I think someone just fell off the cliff. Nobody did. Wait, what? Oh, yep, someone did. Christopher Pierce and Brandon Crasta. They're in the water. Joshua Michaels. I hope Freddy Fazbear can swim. Lisa Gonzalez out in front. Momo Akari to second. Fargo third. Fourth Matt McIntyre. Henry Cavanaugh is now in fifth. As they're all going to... Oh, Fargo gets turned. Turned off the nose of Matt McIntyre. That's going to hold everybody up. Liam Burbank held up. Mason Powers. They're all trying to get themselves situated here. They're all held up because Carter Fargo couldn't get his car righted. And that's going to open up a huge amount of distance. For these guys. Battle on for the lead. Lisa Gonzalez, Momo Akari. Neither one of them have been to victory lane yet. Let's look at the back, see who else may have encountered trouble. There's Pierce, Michaels on pit road. Wait, where's the 75 of Crest? Is he still in the water? Oh no, now he's on pit road. Kyle Matthews near the back. Ian Dutta. Whoa, who's that? Oh, that's Mason Powers. The damage he got from running into Carter Fargo apparently taking toll on his machine as far as speed and this is a horse that's back here Cole Dowley's got front end damage they're starting to pass him pretty easily he may be off the pace wow a lot of damage on that National Guard Chevy Camaro hey there's the guy that made this track Lyndon Wright how would it be for him to get a good finish here at this track right now he scored 26 but he's somewhere up there whoa Jake Haynes I think that was Jessica Villanueva Haynes and Villanueva getting together. They're in trouble. As yeah, so we're going to try and get our way to the front here. Slowly but surely. Right now, it's all Momo Akari out in front. 
Lisa Gonzalez second, Matt McIntyre third, Isaac Canepa is now in fourth, fifth Zach Krostowski, sixth is the pole sitter Corbett, seventh Henry Cavanaugh, Lawler all by his lonesome in eighth, Benjamin Miles ninth, and Carter Fargo completes the top ten. Momokari out in front with a huge advantage at the moment over Lisa Gonzalez. You think back to Momo Akari's friend Makoto Iguchi back in Season 8. Made her debut in the Daytona 500 and what'd she do? She won it. So Momo Akari's got some big shoes to fill. Still looking for her first win here for JE Racing. Who, by the way, has not had a driver go to victory lane yet this season. Bob Jones and Caleb Farrell as well as Momo Akari have not yet reached victory lane. Let's jump up here, see who else may have been involved in some. Robert Piette is on the pit lane. Nick Pericles as well. Jake Haynes there. There's Krasta, Pierce, Michaels. There's Jessica Villanueva, who we know got involved with Jake Haynes. And there's Mason Powers way back here. Dylan Young making his way by the damage machine of Cole Daly. And now Daly's teammate Kyle Matthews about to try and do the same. Back up here at the front. Well, not really at the front, but as we cycle our way through, whoa. 36 of Eric Powers taking it awfully wide through that corner. Almost got into the steel guardrail. Was able to keep it off it, though. Benjamin Miles making some moves. I think he's up to 8th now. He just passed Carter, Fargo, and uh, Jacob Lawler. And here's some battling going on. This is from the third position on back. Matt McIntyre has the spot. As the white flag was displayed, by the way, one lap to go. Matt McIntyre under fire from Henry Cavanaugh. That would be for third. Kanepa, Corbett, and Kurstowski in a battle for what would be the fifth position. Oh, Lisa Gonzalez got around Momo Kari. New leader. The number eight, but for how long? Look at the run Momo Kari got down this stretch. Right past the Sharpie Ford. Man, that 14 was fast right there. Momo Kari, Eric, and Rage... That whole team, they pride themselves on their experience in road courses. Right now, Momo Kari is showing it off. She's to the point. Gonzalez in second. This battle rages on still for third. Kanepa is now third. Do these guys have enough time to run down the top two, though? I'm not so sure. It may be a battle between Akari and Lisa Gonzalez. Two females at the front. Oh, careful. Don't fall into the lake, girls. Got to look back here. Whoa! Why are these guys off the pace? Something happened to these guys. They really slowed down. Oh, here we go. Up the hill. And about to go down the hill. Will they be able to hang on to them when they go down that downhill grade? Here we go! Trying to buffer it against the steel guardrail. They both saved it, and they're both going to make it up the uphill. They're both okay. Kanepa, though... I think may have actually been able to close the gap. I think he may be able to close in on these guys. Oh, trouble. Henry Cavanaugh spun it. Now loses a spot of fourth to Krastowski, fifth to Benjamin Miles. Nilo Balvin's up here now, along with Ryan Shelton. They're doing a great job. There's Lawler, Clint Spillman, Theo Stegall, P.J. Williams. There's Lyndon Wright, Danny Wells right now, battling with him. Bella Davis behind them. And don't count out that eight. That eight car, he's trying to catch up. Well, he may have lost some more ground now here in just the last couple of minutes. It's back to two cars for this win. Momo Akari and Lisa Gonzalez. Uh-oh, 14 got the steel guardrail. Here comes the Sharpie Ford of Lisa Gonzalez getting a run to the inside. These two keep battling amongst themselves. Kanepa could be able to get up here and make it a three-person fight for the win. But time is running short. Lisa Gonzalez not able to make the run at least this time. Still side by side, but now the 14 will clear. Wow, look at that wheel hop those two got. How do they hang on to a car that's practically in the air? All four tires off the pavement. Kanepa's trying. He is within striking distance if these two make a mistake. And there's one right there. Lisa Gonzalez running wide in that corner. Gets the steel guardrail. Can Kanepa capitalize? I'll tell you who will capitalize is the 14 of Momo Akari out in front. 
and with a bit of a gap now. Now, if Lisa Gonzalez has Isaac Canepa on her rear bumper, that could take the pressure off Momo Akari and hand the win over easily to the Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. Canepa still trying to close the gap. There you see it. There's three drivers in your shot that have a shot at winning this thing. Still a ways to go on this lap. Akari, then Gonzalez, then Canepa, then a long ways back to fourth place. That's Benjamin Miles all by his lonesome. Here comes fellow Toyota Nia Belvin. Actually, that's a teammate. Now in fifth, Ryan Shelton trying to take that fifth position. Battle on here from sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. Spillman, Stegall, Krostowski, and Lawler. And then a battle for tenth between P.J. Williams and James Shelley. Wow. That 18 got a huge run with help from Ryan Shelton to catch up to Benjamin Miles. That'll be a raging battle for fourth shortly. But right now it's all Momo Akari. Uh-oh. Uh, back it off a little if you can, Momo. You've got an advantage right now. You can use a little bit of uh, restraint. Oh, still in the guardrail, though. And Lisa Gonzalez closed the gap up, but may have run out of time. Coming down the final stretch. Momo Akari is going to pick up her first Snickers Cup Series win here today at Open Roads. Lisa Gonzalez, second. Third place, I think, just crossed. Isaac Canepa. Fourth place, it's going to be Nilo Bolvin. He held on there. Ryan Shelton, fifth. Benjamin Miles slipped back to sixth. Lawler is going to get seventh. Eighth place, Clint Spillman. Ninth will be Theo Segal. And James Shelley is going to complete the top ten. Eleventh, Ormond. Carter Fargo, twelfth. Williams, 13th, Krostowski, 14th, Brad Mojo in 15th. Then it was Zorling, Burton, Bella Davis, Dougie Shears, and Lyndon Wright will finish top 20 at his track. Man, if Lisa Gonzalez had not hit the steel guardrail out of that final corner, she might have had something for Momo Akari on that final stretch, but the fact that both of them got the steel guardrail basically canceled that out. And Momo Akari will pick up the first win of the season for J.E. Racing and her first win of her career. What a great run for that team. Like we did in Division 1, we're going to step aside, come back, and show your official finish results as we still have a number of drivers that still have to finish the final lap. So here it is, Momo Akari with the win. Lisa Gonzalez, another solid outing for that 08 machine, but just has been plagued trying to get to victory lane and... Right now, with however many, how many winners we've got this season, wins are absolutely necessary to make the chase. Doesn't matter how good a season you're having, how consistent you've been, you need a win to get into the chase. Kanepa, Bolvin, and Shelton are the top five. Then Miles, Lawler, Spillman, Stagall, and Shelley. How about the rookies? That was eight rookies in the top ten. The only two veterans were Kanepa and Lawler here today. As a matter of fact, rookies, look at that. Two rookies in the top 16. So I guess rookies learned this track pretty doggone well. Look all the way down for the rest of your finishing results. Only three drivers actually officially out of the race. Cole Daly, Mason Powers, and Jessica Villanueva. Everybody else finished off the lead lap but did not officially retire from the race. We had Christopher Pierce, Brandon Crasta, and Joshua Michaels be the first three to fall into the lake here. There you can see it right there as the leaders are going by it. So that is the end of Division 2. You're looking at your official results from there. Let's head over now for our final division here to cap off what's been a pretty interesting first few races here at Open Roads. Division 3 going to hold the front row of two drivers who haven't gone to victory lane yet this season. Rohivadar was Audi and the Mercedes of Nathan Hudson on the front row here for Division 3. Let's go down trackside for those most famous words in motorsports. Drivers! Start your engines. So, I think we basically have got a fairly good idea of what this track is like. However, I'm not sure if these drivers have quite grasped the concept. I mean, I'm sure that they were watching the first two division races, but I don't know if they even mentally can figure out just how to conquer this particular racetrack. One thing we have noticed, though, is that if you can hold yourself up at the front, coming to the white flag, you're more than likely guaranteed a chance 
at a top 10 finish. We ended up having it happen with Chris Louvier. He was up in the top three when the white flag waved, and Momo Kari was up there at the front with Lisa Gonzalez when the white flag waved. Both of them picking up their first wins of their Snickers Cup Series career. So, we're going to see a scramble for the front, I can guarantee you here, for this Division Three race. you got Sean Galligan and Jessica Shelton lined up in row two. Those are two other drivers, actually, this season that have not yet made victory lane. Both were in victory lane last season. Matter of fact, add Nathan Hudson to that group as well. All three of them went to victory lane last season. They haven't made it to victory lane yet here in season nine. So here we go. Buckle up tight again. I'm going to have no voice after this race, I can guarantee you. I'm already starting to lose it after Division 2, and I'm not sure if this voice is going to be able to hang on for Division 3, but I'm going to try my darndest. Rohit Arvu, Nathan Hudson, going to try and get their respective manufacturers, Audi and Mercedes, to victory lane. Here we go. Flagman's ready. They just got to make it down to this restart box, and we're ready to go. Who's going to get to victory lane here in Division 3? We're about to find out. Green Flag is out here for the final race of this weekend. Jessica Shelton going three wide early on. Is she going to have any help? Here comes Connor Breton helping her on that inside line. Interesting. Planters Peanuts helping a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup car. Irony. Sorry, had to go there. Made Arvu, though, to the point. Hudson to second. That inside line did not get going. The 68 and the 6 and the 44 of Galligan. All single file as they'll head down here into the first quarter. Galligan, though, here he comes to the inside line looking for the top position. And now Jessica Shelton's going to get four, four wide here through this corner. They made it through this corner in Division 2. I doubt they're going to do it here in Division 3, though. It's not going to happen. Oh, Derek Pemberton getting forced into the wall by TJ Dent. And there they go into the fence. Ca Carson Gums collected. Everybody scattering. Zach Buchanan got a piece of it. Everybody else back here has gotten into trouble. Trent Dunham. He's slow. Whoa, they're still wrecking. That's James Silverfox turned the wrong way. He's able to refire. Keep going. Vedarva to the point. Hudson. With fellow Brit Sean Galligan, they're in second and third. Uh, Galligan might not want to make that move this early. Well, maybe he might. I don't know. They're coming to that uphill portion here, and then the downhill drop. Oh, boy. Galligan, don't fall off the edge. He didn't. Okay. Wow, Galligan got through that corner nicely. Nice deacceleration, and whoa, Galligan! Hang on to her, boy! Yikes! Man, what's made Arvo got to be thinking seeing an Airborne 44 racing side by side with him? Hudson hanging on. There's Chris Kyle, Ryan Rezzo, Alex Pedro, Shelton still up here, Henley, Breton, Qualls. Then a ways back to Derek Pemberton. Let's see if anybody's encountered any trouble and had to teleport to Pit Road yet. Oh, yeah. Trent Dunham's on Pit Road. Dorian Face Puncher as well. Joshua Collard's on Pit Road. Tristan Wilhoyt in trouble there on the downhill section. Two-time winner is already pretty much locked into the chase, so really doesn't have to worry. But still, would love to be able to pick up a third win, especially with the fact that he's trying to tie Danny Wells for most wins this season and be able to be tied up atop the point stands when the chase field is put together. Galligan under fire. Chris Kyle going to hang on to second now. Vedarvu back to third. Nathan Hudson fourth. And here's a battle for fifth place. Breton's got it. Henley's there, though. James Qualls, Ryan Rezzo, Alex Pedro, Jessica Shelton. Then there's Chris Dollerton back here with Derek Pemberton, Cody Lamas, and Blaine Key's going to make it three wide with the 48 and 180, uh, yeah, 181. Uh-oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Derek Pemberton, he's off the racetrack right now, and he's off the racetrack definitely now. Down into the steel guard. Oh, man, that car. He got penetrated. Holy cow. That car's been speared. Oi. Pemberton already with a win this season, but uh, only one in a critical spot. There's Richard Johnson. He's damaged. Will Hoyt's on pit road. Now Charles Belding on pit road. As it's Galligan out in front. What would it mean for Sean Galligan, a guy who's been on a roll as of late but still needs to get to victory lane to be able to go to victory lane here at 
a track that he's never raced at before, but he's got a lot of company back there in the form of Chris Kyle, Roy Vidarbu, Nathan Hudson, Connor Breton, Sean Henley, James Qualls, Ryan Rezzo, and Alex Pedro Shelton also trying to catch up to this group. Man, this is the most drivers we've actually had up at the front of the field all day. Basically, it's been like three or four cars breaking away, but right now we got a nice hefty group of cars up at the front. Chris Kyle out in front, leader at the moment, winner at Talladega earlier on this season. Would love to pick up a second win for Young Motorsports, but here comes Nathan Hudson. Big run to the bottom and move his Mercedes to the front. Henley now going to move to second. James Qualls is going to try and use drafting belt to get himself to third. We'll do so. Oh, three wide. Three wide. Pedro, Galligan, and Kyle. Pedro, very smart, giving some room to Galligan there. And now he'll bypass Henley. That's for third. Now Sean to the answer. Oh, Qualls! Oh, what a save! Almost reminiscent of the save James Qualls had, the, the, the way he was able to hang on to it in the all-star race last week white flag Hudson is your leader I believe wait they haven't updated it they say he's second but who's the leader oh Pedro's the leader my bad Pedro the leader second place now under contest James Qualls trying to get by Nathan Hudson these guys have to try and run down Alex Pedro though for the win long ways to go though still a lot of time there's Sean Henley. If the chase were to start now, he'd be 10th in the chase standings. But he's looking for his second win of the season. Rezzo, Breton trying to catch up. Vidarbo started to fall back. Shelton still trying to catch up as well. Oh, man, look at Breton. Breton using the low portion of the entry into this corner. He's going to go side by side with Galligan. They're all hanging on for now. Here's a battle, maybe, for the lead. Yeah. Qualls just took it. Pedro lost it. Kyle to second. Third, Hudson. Now fourth is going to be Henley. Oh, don't fall off the edge, guys. Don't fall off the edge. Ooh, boy. They're all trying to give room. Looks like they were able to. Nobody fell off. It's Qualls out in front. See if anybody else is in trouble here on pit road. Richard Johnson's finally made his way back to pit road, but everybody else is still running. Aside from the people I've already mentioned that are already on pit road, Qualls the leader, Chris Kyle second, Hudson, Henley, then Alex Pedro. Qualls made that jump pretty well. So did Chris Kyle. Connor Breton now moves to third, Henley to fourth, Rezzo to fifth. Hudson was really slow up that hill. He's losing a ton of spots. So too are Pedro and Galligan. Whoa, sideswipe there by Chris Dollerton. There's Rohibit Arvu. He slipped back quite a bit. Has the pole sitter. That might have killed Nathan Hudson and Sean Galligan's chances. As well as Alex Pedro's. This is the battle for the lead. James Qualls. Looking for his first win of the season. He was a two-time winner last season. Got himself into the chase. He'd love to be in the chase again. But Chris Kyle's looking for his second win of the season. He won at Dega. He'd love to win at Open Roads. He's now going to go to the inside and try and take the lead. Oh, Qualls got the wall there. That's going to move the 66 easily to the point. Connor Breen, another former winner this season. He's trying to pick up his second win of the year. Ryan Rezzo, another former winner, is in fourth. And Jessica Shelton's now been able to battle up to fifth. Blaine Key's sixth. Seventh now, Cody Lamas. Eighth is Levi McIntyre. Where on earth did he come from? Ninth is Chris Maley. And Pedro is now back in tenth after he crossed the line in the first position to take the white flag. Oh, Qualls isn't going to go away quietly. Qualls is not going to go away quietly. He had a great rookie season. Two wins made the chase. He wants to have a great sophomore season as well. Here he comes to the bottom, going for the lead off of Chris Kyle. Connor Britton's right there as well, maybe trying to play spoiler with these two Ford Fusions. I don't know if anybody's going to be able to close in on these guys. Breton now going for second off of Chris Kyle. Ryan Rezzo, Jessica Shelton, Blaine Keyes, and Cody Lamas. they got to do a lot of work to catch up here to these front three. I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. There they are. You can see them in your shot. But they have little time to be able to catch up here. they got to hope these three run into problems. Or that they can get huge draft down these long straightaways. 
Qualls now under fire for the lead from Connor Breton. Where's Chris Kyle going to give his drafting allegiance to? Will it be to fellow Ford Qualls or will it be to Connor Breton? Looks like it was to Breton. And now Chris Kyle going for the second position. This is the final stretch. Chris Kyle. If he can not hit the wall. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at Chris Kyle. Milking that thing by on the inside line. Connor Breton may have just lost it there. Qualls is kind of blocked in behind him. And Chris Kyle may have it. But let's see what happens here through this final corner. Oh, just keep it off the wall. And Chris Kyle may be home free. Is he going to get that steel guardrail? He did not even touch it. But look at Qualls. Look at the run he got. Has he got time to reel him in? Coming down here to the line. Is Qualls going to make a move? He's right there. Not quite. Oh, man. He almost had him. Almost set him up perfect. But Chris Kyle is just barely going to hang on. That start finish line couldn't have come sooner for him. And he's going to pick up his second win of the season and maybe have just locked himself actually no you know what I think he has locked himself up a spot in this season's chase for the championship now so close for James Qualls but not quite oh man Qualls gonna get second Breton and third who was fourth Shelton got fourth nice run for her Fifth place was Rezo. Sixth was Cody Lamas. Blaine Key's going to get seventh. Eighth was Nathan Hudson. Ninth, Chris Dollarton. And Angel Navarro just barely getting that tenth position. Eleventh was McIntyre. Twelfth was Srigley. Pedro, thirteenth. Maley in fourteenth. And Rohit Vidar with the pole sitter going to finish the day out in fifteenth place. Rest of the top twenty were Zach Buchanan, Henry Nova, Sean Galligan all the way back to eighteenth. Dylan Casella, nineteenth. And Dion Scott completed the top 20. Young Motorsports has a two-time winner this season. Chris Kyle, who is now going to represent Young Motorsports in the chase for the championship. So we know for certain that Danny Wells, Tristan Wilhoit, Robert Piette, and Chris Kyle are locked into this season's chase for the championship. Big question is, though, who is going to be the ones to join them? We got a couple of contenders that put their names in the hat here with wins today and Momo Akari and Chris Louvier. It's just a matter of time before we're going to find out if those wins were enough to get them into the chase. Let's now head to your official results as we await everyone else to finish out their final lap. So ironic too that this was the calmer of the three division races. We had more drivers up there battling for the win and not as many drivers on the pit lane. Look at that. Only about maybe eight or nine drivers really had problems and had to teleport to pit road as a result. But there's your winner, Chris Kyle, atop the leaderboard. Qualls in second. Breton, Shelton, and Rezo, your top five. Lamas, Keys, Hudson, Chris Dollarton, and Angel Navarro, your top ten. There's the rest of your finishing results there. Two-time winner, Tristan Wilhoy, had trouble today. We saw Sean Henley up there at the front at one point. He finished over two, two minutes back in the uh, 33rd position. Charles Sanfer in his debut race with uh, RRE Enterprises, Retro Racing Enterprises, 31st. So not exactly the best of debuts for him. And that's it. I'm not even going to wager what the points look like after this race. I can't even guess. Lisa Gonzalez could have maybe uh, still be the points leader now. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even going to guess. I don't know. We're going to find out. I'm going to find out same time you guys do. So thank you so much for watching. Great debut races here at Open Roads. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give us a video, like, subscribe, to become part of the crew today. Your winners today, Division 1, Chris Louvier, Division 2, Momo Akari, and Chris Kyle becomes a two-time winner of the season, winning in Division 3. Be sure to check us out on social media. Facebook and Twitter links are in the description. Here comes your official point standings heading into next week. Yeah, it's a one-two punch. Next week we go to Thornton. So let's see what these guys have learned here to apply next week at the home of the Turn of Death. You've been watching Ducks on the NCAA, Offline Racing, at its best. Goodbye, everybody.